Hello and welcome to the Forensic Fiend YouTube channel. This presentation today will cover how to create a new case in NK7 and how to add the evidence file. Okay, so let's just assume that we have NCase open. Once you do open an NCase, you do get this home tab where you can add a new case from and you can also open a new an existing case. What we're going to do today is we're going to create a new case. So we click on new case. It brings up the case options tab. Here we can um, enter firstly the case name, which is the name you want to give to the file that you want where, it's going to, where the case is going to be stored. Okay. Then where it says full case path, you select the option at the end of it and you locate a location where you want to store the case. I have already done this, that's why the button that appears on the right hand side of that option is no longer there. Okay. Then we have an option where we see it says use base case folder for primary evidence cache. That um, I prefer to use this option. What this basically means is all the cache files for your case are normally stored in a different location. However, I want to store it with the case, so I select that option. Then we have case info at the bottom, which is probably the most important aspect of creating a new case. We have three options there: case number, examiner name, and description. On the right hand side where it says value, if you click there for each option, it opens a page where you can enter the value. So the case number for the purpose of the video, just put number one. The examiner name would be the investigator's name, but for the purpose of the video, we'd use forensic theme. And then the description is just an overview of your case. So it's, it's for your own purpose, so you can go back and see why you created this case. You can also have the option to add extra fields um, and extra options there, it's up to you what you want to do, but this is the general basic that NCASE provides you with. You do have the option to edit and delete these options. Okay, so once you have done that, press OK. It brings up the home tab for the case. If you look in the left hand top corner, you can see the case and in brackets it shows the case name. What we want to do is we want to add evidence. So the first option there is add evidence. There are other options there for you as well. But at the moment, we want to just add evidence. Okay. So when you do click on add evidence, you get these following options. You can add a local device, which is a file from your machine. You can add an evidence file, which is specifically formatted for NCase. And you can add a raw image as well. NCase also supports smartphone, and we do have an additional feature there called add crossover preview. But for, for, for the investigation that I've carried out, we're going to use an evidence file. I've just listed a few formats, formats which is compatible with NCASE. The format I'm using is a VMDK file, and that's basically created through the use of a virtual machine. Okay, so you click on add evidence file, you locate your file, and then you open it. Once you do that, it brings up the evidence tab. As you see in the top left, it's got the home, and at the moment we are on the evidence one. Here you can see your evidence, you can see the location of the evidence, and um, we can also see the status of your evidence. Currently the evidence is unprocessed. NCASE recommends you to process your evidence first before carrying out any further investigation. So there is a video on processing evidence which, which you can watch also. Okay, just to conclude, in each investigation, an investigator who is using NCASE would require creating a new case, which is pretty simple. Every, every case that you create does require you to do this. Therefore, most investigators are familiar with this process if they do use NCASE. If they use any other forensic software, they may not be familiar with this. That's, this is the reason why we've created this video. It is very basic, but for some people, they may not know about this. Okay? So, the case info is the most important aspect to setting up a new case. Basically, it tells you the name, the examiner, and the reason why you created this case. And then the final option we have, um, final point of the conclusion, sorry, is that NCASE has made this process very simple. Because it's something which you have to do commonly, therefore, it's not too hard. And once you've done it once, you won't have a problem with it again. So thank you for watching, and thank you very much from Forensic Bean. Bye-bye.